Hi guys. So I want to first start off by saying sorry I can't be there um, on Thursday slash Friday uh, for you guys. So I want to use this time to kind of just explain what you are going to be doing in class. Okay. So for your day one student, um, you are going to be starting off, go into your Moodle. Okay. You're going to log into Moodle. You are going to look through the lesson plan for day one. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen right now with you guys so we can look for where to go. So if you guys log in, you're going to go to the lesson plans and homework tab. You will have quarter one and quarter two available. We are now in quarter two. So you need to make sure that you're actually clicking on quarter two. So I'm gonna click there. From there, you will see day one and day two available to you. Start with day one, because this is your first day in class. So on the lesson plan for today, we have a few different things. This number two is simply an extra, as it says, extra, okay? This is gonna be an interview with a woman named Helen Goldkind. She is talking about her experience with this interviewer um, with her arrival to Auschwitz, which is similar to the experience that we heard in the first couple pages of chapter three, by Eli. Okay, so she talks about what she experienced, um, the tragic things she went through when she went there, or when she first arrived there, what happened to her family when she first arrived there. It is different than the experience that Eli had, but also there are some similarities in that. You do not, and I repeat, you do not need to actually watch this or listen to this interview if you don't want to. It's here for people who find this, this topic um, of the Holocaust or the topic of survivors of the Holocaust to be interesting or moving, or you'd like something to kind of supplement in with night um, to hear those different perspectives, that's for you. You do not have to do this. This is not an actual assignment. It's just an extra thing if you'd like to listen to it. If you just click where it says this, the big bolded letters, this, click there, it'll take you to the website, okay? And you can listen to the interview. What you guys do have to do, this is mandatory. You do need to go through this PDF and you need to take notes on this handout for the different types of conflict. We are going to be continuing to read chapter three during today's class period. So with this information, you'll then take it and you will apply it to the book and see, okay, hmm, what are the conflicts that I can find in what I've read today in chapter three, okay? so. I'm gonna show you what the PDF looks like. I'll show you what the handout looks like and I'll kind of walk you through how you would use these things. So if you click where it says, here is a PDF, you'll click on that PDF and it's gonna take you to a PowerPoint that says types of conflict or PDF of a PowerPoint. When you're scrolling through this, you're gonna see a variety of things. The first slide is just what is a conflict in general. You do not need to take notes on this. There's no space on the handout for that. Once you get into the third slide or third page of this, you will find stuff that you actually have to take notes on. And I'll show you where to take notes for this stuff in just a moment. But the first thing is just what are the two types of conflict? Internal, external, you need to write down the definitions of those on your handout. Then slide four, you do not need to take notes on. It's just giving you all the different types of internal and external conflict. You're required to know which of these six types of conflict fall into internal and which of the six fall into external. So this is just a quick little list for you to kind of categorize those things. From there, you're going to get each type and it's going to break it down for you. Okay, so man versus self, this would be internal and then it gives you your actual definition of that. And then it's going to do that for a few different slides until you get through all six types of conflicts. Okay. If you're like, wait, what is man versus man? If you go back in to this table, you can see, oh, that's an external conflict, gotcha. Okay, so that's kind of how you'll navigate through here. You'll take notes on all these different slides. Now, if I go back in to Moodle and actually click on this handout, this is the paper that you're gonna take notes on. You will see there's a space at the top for you to write the definition of internal conflict and external conflict. That's going to fall in slide three of the handout. Then you have a box for each type of conflict, okay, each of the six. In the first one, you'll just take notes in order in which the slides go in. So for this first box, if I go back into the types of conflict handout or PowerPoint slides, the first one I see is man versus self and then the definition of that. So I would then go back to my handout and I would write in this first box and I'll just edit it so you can kind of see as if I was doing this. 
I would write in here. I'm going to add a little text box right here, make it red. Okay. I would then say man versus self. Now, if I'm looking back at that PowerPoint and it says type of conflict, and you think, okay, is that internal or external? Hmm, I don't remember. So let me go up to this first slide right here. Oh, okay, man versus self is internal. So I can go back to my handout and I can write internal conflict, okay? And then very simply, you're gonna write the definition below. So you go back to that man versus self slide and you write out the definition. You can shorten the definition however you feel fit. I know you guys went over this information um, in your freshman year English class, but if you forgot and you want the full definition I give you, feel free to write it down. If you're like, no, I'm gonna write a shorter version, you can write a shorter version. Just know you are 100% responsible for these definitions, for these conflicts, and how they are categorized into either internal or external, okay? So if I was to then call on you in class one day and I say, hey, what's the definition of man versus self? You should be able to tell me something along these lines, okay? So that's how you're gonna fill out the handout and use that PDF. And you'll do that for each of these boxes. It'll be the same thing, okay? So that is your task for the notes in the handout. Now, if I go back in to my internet, okay? you are going to then see that you need to read some more of chapter three of night. We'd left off on page 32, 31, 32. Pick up where you feel you remember, okay? Um, so we're gonna pick up there. You should read to roughly page 37. I'll add that on to here for you guys so you know. During today's reading, you'll need to annotate for an internal and external conflict, okay? So I expect when I see you next and we go over this in chapter three that you will have one ready to talk about, okay? I will be asking you guys to also submit your annotations once we finish through chapter three. That is gonna be an actual assignment. So choosing not to take annotations is not a good idea, okay? Please make the annotations. Remember, an annotation is not just highlighting something. You need to also make a note next to it. So. For this example, I would find an internal conflict in chapter three. I'd highlight that sentence or that paragraph or like quick half sentence. And then next to it, I would write internal conflict. He's struggling with blank, okay? So give yourself some help so you don't have to go back in, read the entire paragraph and be like, what, why, what is he talking about there? You wanna make sure you're making those notes to make it easier on yourself when we go back in or you're asked to write a paragraph about this or analyze something, okay? Make it easy on yourself, make your annotations good, all right? That is what you have. You shouldn't have any homework. If for some reason you fall behind on this, it will be your homework though, okay? So that is your day one class. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I will be available through email, so just send me an email. Um, if you have any issues. All right. Well, have a great day, guys. I will see you next time.